Hello, you are welcome. Now, if you were asked to find the value of n that will satisfy this equation, what will you do? Now, you are literally looking for the value of n that you are going to raise to the power of itself that will give you 39. Now, for instance, if you consider n equals 1, that means you have 1 raised to the power of 1, and this equals 1. If you also consider n equals 2, you have 2 to the power of 2, and this equals 4. And this is not 39, rather is this 39. So you proceed to 3, you have n equals 3, you have 3 to the power of 3, and this is 27, which is not also 39. Now you consider 4, so you are going to have 4 to the power of 4, which is the same thing as writing 2 to the power of 8, right? And this will give you 2, 5, 6, which is far greater than 39. So this is not 39, but this is far greater than 39. And 27 here is very close to 39. So from here, you can easily have the range of values of n that will satisfy this equation. So the range of values of n, you can easily write it as 3, which is 3 power 3, that is 27, is less than n. That means 27 is less than 39. And n is less than 4, because the value of n here definitely is less than 4 power 4, because 4 power 4 is 2, 5, 6, which is far greater than 39. So from here, you have the range of values of n that satisfy this equation. Now, we need to tailor it down to maybe 3.1, 3.2. We need to raise it to the power of 3.1. We also raise this to the power of 3.2, just like that. But this obviously would take us a whole lot of time for us to get that particular value that will give us 39. So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to what we call the lambert dory function. And that is exactly what we are going to use in order to solve this particular exponential problem. So you have your n to the power of n, and this equals 39. So for you to make use of the lambert dory function, first and foremost, let's apply the natural log. We have ln of n power n equals ln of 39. Now. We can apply the logarithm property here. If you have log a to the power of b, this equals b times log a. So what happens here is the n will come behind the natural log. You have n times ln n equals ln 39. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to talk about the lambert dory function. The Lambert W function. So, this is what we are going to use in order to solve this problem. How is the Lambert W function applied? So, look at it here. For you to apply the Lambert W function, you need to have an expression such as a times e power a, or you have 3 times e power 3, or you have x times e power x. So whenever you have something like this, or this, or but it must be in this form, you can then apply the lambert dory function. And whenever you apply this lambert dory function here, you are going to have an output as a solution, which is A, the A that you have here. So here you can apply the lambert dory function. And what you are going to have here is 3. And you can also apply the dory for A function here. And what you are going to have here is X. So what this simply means is that the Lambert Ray function is represented using capital letter W. So whenever you see this, know that you are referring to the Lambert Ray function. And whenever you apply it in a special like this, you definitely have this as the output. So let's get back to our problem. So we have ln n times ln n equals ln 39. We need to 
manipulate this to give us what we have here so that we can apply the lambda Dori function because we cannot solve this if we don't make use of the lambda Dori function. There's no way we can solve this. So for us to make use of the lambda Dori function here, we can recall this trick. If I have e to the power of ln of x, this is the same thing as writing x. This identity is very important because e to the power of ln is 1. So the x will be the output. So I can easily apply that trick right here. Instead of me writing n, I can easily write this n as e power ln n. So when I replace this n with e power ln n, which is the same thing as writing n, this equation becomes, instead of n here, I'm going to replace it with e power ln n times ln n equals ln 39. So remember, I'm modeling this expression to be in the form of what we have here. Now, if you observe this right here, you are going to see that there is a before e power a. So for us to apply the lambda drive function, we need to write this one first before the e power ln n. So we have ln n times e power ln n, and this equals ln 39. Now, the next step will be for us to check if the condition for the lambda Dori function is fulfilled. So how do you check for the conditions? You check what you have here. Is it exactly what you have here? Yes, that is true. So we can apply the lambda Dori function and here we have E. So the lambda Dori function, we make use of E capital letter W of ln n times E power ln n equals the lambda Dori function of ln 39. So whenever we apply the lambda Dori function like this, the output will definitely be what we have here. So what we are going to have here is ln n, and this equals the lambda Dori function of ln 39. So from here, we are solving for n. We need to isolate n, and we need to eliminate this ln. For us to eliminate ln, we make use of e. F e power ln n equals e power the lambda Dori function ln 39. Definitely, e will eliminate ln. So what we are going to have left is simply n equals e power the lambda Dori function of ln 39. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our solution. This solution will help you to find the precise value of n that satisfies that equation. So this is what we are going to do. You come over to your calculator, you write this. E, definitely you are going to see in your calculator. If you cannot find the lambda Dori function, you definitely see product log. So product log is another name for the lambda Dori function. Some modern calculators do not have this, or rather, you are going to see product log. So you have product log of ln 39. You will definitely see ln in your calculator. And whenever you insert this in your, into your calculator, what you are going to have will be an approximate value of n, which is 3.1. 729. So this is in four decimal places. This becomes the value of n that will satisfy that equation. 3.1729. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the value of n. So if you have 3.1729 raised to the power of 3.1729 you definitely have an approximate value of 39. So you can try that out. And that is it. That is the end of the video. That is how to apply the Lampard W function to solve a given problem. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.